Okay, now in this section we'll see uh, doing some interval and routing by using a multi-layer switch, 3550 or 3560 switches. Now if you go back to the previous concepts, what we have seen, we have seen like um, doing the interval and routing using a separate physical interface or a separate physical gateway. Uh, this is something not really applicable in today's networks because having a separate gateway for each and every VLAN is something not scalable. Now when you talk about the second method, we have seen that uh, the traffic coming from VLAN 10 will go to the router and the router will send back on the same interface through sub interface and then it will go back to the VLAN 20. Now again, the major disadvantage with the router on stick method is we need to if you want to communicate within the same uh, switch but they are on different VLANs, they should go to the router and the router is going to send back again on a different VLAN and the router is going to uh, add some more latency on, on sending a traffic from one VLAN to another VLAN. Now this is one of the major drawback because when you when you talk about routers, routers do later routing lookup where they, they will see the destination network IDs and then forward the packet based on the next stop. But when you, when you talk about uh, switches, switches are much more better or a high speed, wide speed switch, wide speed devices when you compare with routers. So then, then it has led to some evolution of your multi-layer switches where we can use a multi-layer switch, uh, maybe your 3550 or 3560 switch can be used as a router as well. Okay, so for that what I'm doing is I'm going to connect for verifying, I'm going to connect my computers. I, I removed the devices as per my previous lab. I'm going to connect a 3560 switch and I'm going to do the connection of port number one, port number two, and port number three, and port number four. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign this first particular first two ports, connecting to first two computers. I'm going to assign F0 by 1 to 2 and then access VLAN 10 and then interface range F0 by 3 to 4 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 20 so if I verify show VLAN the first thing what I'm doing is I'm going to assign the port number 1 and 2 in the VLAN 10 and port number 3 and 4 in the VLAN 20 so this is something what we have done uh, in the previous labs as well now the, now the question is if you want to do inter VLAN routing now here I want to ensure that the traffic coming from VLAN 10 should go to VLAN 20. Now in order to make that possible it has to go through the multi layer switch. But now the problem is there should be a gateway. Because in order to forward the traffic from one VLAN to another VLAN you need to have a gateway. Now to get the gateway on the multi layer switches what we do is we create something called SVI switch virtual interfaces so which means we are going to assign the IP address to the VLAN 10 itself we need to assign the IP address that should be from the same network of what we are using in the VLAN 10 automatically it is going to act as a gateway for that particular VLAN so which means if I go to the interface if I give an IP address and no shutdown command that will be automatically a gateway for VLAN 10 now similar way for the VLAN 20 I'm going to assign the IP address it is going to be the gateway for VLAN 20. So every VLAN uh, it will be having its own gateway interface and that will be your switch virtual interface. So we're not using any physical interfaces uh, to, be, to be used as a gateway here. So that's it. So only two steps. We need to create a VLAN and assign the ports. And the second step, what we are going to do is the first step, we have shifted port number one and two in the VLAN 10 and port number 3 and 4 in the VLAN 20 that's something what I did in the first step and the second step we are going to configure SVIs for the VLAN 10 and the, for the VLAN 20 so to create SVIs let's go to router uh, the multi-layer switch interface VLAN 10 I can see the interface VLAN interface is up 192.168.1.100 and then 255 interface VLAN 20 and then the IP address is 192.168.2.100 that's it so if you verify show IP interface brief you can see interface F0 uh, VLAN 10 is having this IP address and VLAN 20 also have an IP address 
and there's one more thing you need to do is we need to enable routing on the multi-layer switch so routing is something might be enabled on some of the platforms it depends but here I'm assuming it's not enabled so I'm going to enable this command IP routing and if I give show IP route you can see there are two interfaces which are connected that is VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 now finally if I try to ping from one door network to two door network I should be able to see the communication so let's go and give the command IP config for verifying my own IP address and I'll try to ping to another network which is 192.168.2.1 so I should be able to see the communication process between both the VLANs you can see and if you try to trace so trace at command we are giving 192.168.2.1 so the output is exactly the same what we have uh, what we got exactly in our previous labs now this way we can we can have uh, any number of SVI interfaces depending upon the number of VLANs. So we can do inter VLAN routing by using a separate uh, SVI for each and every VLAN. So that's something what we we are going to do. That is not only that we can even use an L3 port, uh, any specific port as a router, also. So let me just elaborate this topology a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this topology and I'm going to connect a router here and the router is connecting on F0 by 1 and to this network. And this will be my 172.16 network. So in this, in this uh, continuation lab, I'm going to demonstrate you how you can use a, a, a port of a switch as a layer 3 port. So that's something we'll be, we'll be, we'll be implementing and verifying here. So let me add some devices here. So I'm going to add some routers. 2621, some router. And then I'm going to add some uh, computers on the right side and I'll assign the IP addresses. So I'm going to take one switch. Okay. So let me let me provide some connections from, from the router to switch. Switch. And then I'm going to connect on F0 by 0 and I'm connecting F0 by 1 port going on F0 by 20 exactly as per my diagram okay so let me quickly assign the IP addresses on the computers here so I'll be using 172.16.1.1 with a default subnet mask and on the next PC I'll be using 1.2 and then 1.100 so um, I'm going to assign the IP addresses on the routers as per the diagram so in my diagram if you observe this is my router 1 on the right side uh, let's anyway this is the router so let's go with the router only and then I'm going to assign the IP address of F0 by 0 so according to my diagram it is 172.16.1.100 is the gateway address 2.5.0.0 and then interface F0 by 1, I'm going to assign the IP address of 10.001 with the default subnet mask. So now if I verify show IP interface brief, so what I did, I just did the connectivity of the devices here in the LAN and then I have configured the IP addresses of F0 by 0 and F0 by 1 um, as per my lab requirement. Okay. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to go to the interface which is connecting here. I need to assign the IP address. So let, let me try to do that by getting into the command line of the switch. I'm connecting F0 by 20 to the router. So I'm going to say IP address 10.001 or 10.002 and I'm using the default submit mask. So when I give this command, you can observe that the command seems to be okay, but it's not accepting because now by default this port which is connecting to the switch by default it's a layer 2 port layer 2 port means it is going to identify only the MAC addresses and it only works as a layer 2 port which means you cannot assign the IP address on that particular port because it is a layer 2 port so what I need to do in this scenario I need to change this particular port from layer 2 to layer 3 port I'm going to configure it as a layer 3 port 
and for that we need to give a command called no switchboard now there are multiple solutions you have here uh, one of the solution is we can convert this particular port into layer 3 port that is one possible solution uh, then the other solution is I'm going to assign this particular F0 by 20 port into the VLAN one specific VLAN uh, let's say I'm going to assign a VLAN 100 something like that and and I can configure this port as an access port just like a normal port which is connecting to computers and I can assign the IP address to the VLAN 100 instead of assigning to that particular port so there are two possible solutions we can go with so first I'm going with a L a layer 3 port and then I will come back to this particular uh, other option as well so what is the command for that we just need to say no switch port now we can assign the IP address on that particular port so for verification we can use show IP interface brief you can see the interface is having an IP address and I can ping to the interface on the opposite side also you can see from the switch I'm able to ping to 10.0.0.1 and if I want to communicate between these two different LANs, I can configure some routing. So what I can do, I can just go and configure some routing protocol. Uh, let me use some protocol like router EHRP100, no other summary, something. Network, uh, network 10 dot network on the WAN. And what's the other network? 192.168.1 dot network and 192.168.2 dot network. So I'm utilizing the LAN interface and then 192.168.1.0 network and 192.168.2.0 network on the switch. Now the same way I need to go to the router. We need to use iRouter EHRP100 network 172.16.0 network in the LAN and then I'm using 10.0 network. Now I can see the neighbor adjacency has been established here. And if you verify on the router, if I use show IP route, I can see these networks. And finally, if you try to ping, you can ping from this network to this network as well as this network. Now I can see I'm using this multi-layer switch. Uh, on this particular port, I'm using it as a router port. And the remaining interfaces are still, they are acting as a layer two ports only. So only the thing you need to do is you need to, you need to just change this port into layer three port by giving a command called no switch port it will do the same job of a router. Now, as I said, there is one more way you can use. Uh, that is something, one option is we can use a no switch port command. That is what I have showed you just now. The other option is I can assign this particular port into VLAN 100, some VLAN it can be. And then I can assign the IP address to the VLAN interface instead of assigning the IP address to the physical interface. So let me, let me do the next option here. So I'll go to switch and then I'm going to convert this F0 by 20 back to switch port. When I say back to switch port, automatically it is going to remove the IP address. Int remove, so let me remove it. And now this particular port is uh, more like a access port. So I'm going to say interface F0 by 20. I'm going to say switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN, VLAN 100. So there's no VLAN 100, it, it has created automatically VLAN 100. So I should see the VLAN 100 and port number 20 in that particular VLAN. And I can assign the IP address to the VLAN 100 rather than assigning the IP address for, for that particular port. Uh, it overlaps here. Let me, uh, let me just do interface F0 by 0, F0 by 20. Let me, let me get back to this configuration. First I'll remove the IP address and then I'll change back to switch port. So mostly in the normal switches it might work properly. So now the IP address has been removed. Now I'm going to interface F0 by 20, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 100. And then I'm going to assign the IP address for the VLAN 100. And then IP address is 10.001 and with a default mask. So now if you verify, you can see the VLAN 100 is up and up. So I should be able to ping to the opposite interface normally. So 
so it might be taking some time because of the spanning tree you can see the ports will go to green slowly so the major problem was i was i actually tried to assign the ip address of 10.001 that's the problem actually here you can see uh, now i changed to 10.002 now it's working fine here you can see now if i verify show ip eagrp neighbors it's working fine the neighbor is and if i verify show ip route eagrp i can see the 172.16. network coming here so these are the two different options we can use either we can use switch port or we can assign the port into the access mode with a vlan and we can assign the ip address to the vlan interface rather than assigning the ip address to the uh, physical interface now it all depends upon the requirement uh, as per your requirement you can go with any one of the options but both the options are going to allow you to assign the ip address uh, on this on that particular multi-layer uh, multi switch interface and we can also use it as just like an outer port.